Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about when to choose Wiglot or WPML if you're looking for a multilingual WordPress plugin to use this year on your website and how to turn your website into a website that has many languages and I have several videos about talking of Wiglot and WPML and I want to do this video to show and to go further to keep the discussion about when to choose Wiglot and WPML. I made up this table just to have a quick overview and a quick visual of Wiglot comparison to WPML. And I have selected some of their plans, not all of their plans. And talking first about Wiglot, they do have a free plan, but it's only up till 2000 words. And unless you have a very small website, it's fine to try it out. It's mainly for testing out purposes. But once that you find, okay, I want to go further with Wiglot, they have the starter plan that it costs around 99, 99 euros per year or per month it's around 99.9 .9 euros per month. So they there are pricing in euros. And in that plan, you can translate up to 10,000 words in only one language. So this will be for a website that it's beginning. They has not that much content and then and it has a plan to grow. And they do have further more plans. And one of the most common one, it's the pro plan that it costs around the 490 euros per year. And it gives you up to 200,000 words with the possibility to use five languages, to translate to five languages more and to have in to have it in three websites and in WPML they have only three plans the blog one the first one I actually don't recommend it that much they I will talk later about some other alternatives for smaller websites but in case that for example you have a Elementor website a DV website or even for the WooCommerce websites with WPML you might or must have the CMS plan that it's probably mostly recommended one from WPML costs $99 per month in the last month of 2021. They set up the higher price because they are not uh, now adding a little bit of credits to use for the automatic translations. In terms of the words that you can translate to since it is a very big combination of manual translation, then it's unlimited. So can we say, and the number of languages as well, they have up till 64 languages already available. And even if you want to create your own language, you can also add a language of your own. And you can also have it, the CMS plan up to three websites. And the main difference between the CMS and the agency plan, it's just like for hundred dollars more, hundred ninety nine per year, you can have unlimited number of websites that you can install. So this is more for a yeah digital marketing agency that it's helping customers to have their multilingual WordPress websites. Going further and when to choose Wiglot and WPML, I want to first talk about Wiglot, and I will prefer to recommend it. If you already have a WooCommerce website or if you have a more complex website, probably a, a classified website with several uh, users or even a membership website, then probably Wiglot could be a better option. And the question is why? Well, I will start talking about that. It's faster, uh, faster loading since it's connected via an API key. All the translations are stored in their databases. So if your website is grown without with that time, that database won't increase in your servers. So it won't be a very bulky server in your site. So that 
it's an important factor to consider when we're choosing Wiglot. Also, if you have like the plugins that are required for WooCommerce or for the getaway payments, then it will be better to have a plugin that might not interfere with some other plugins because sometimes you might require to deactivate some of the plugins. And in WPML, sometimes you might do that. And if you deactivate WPML, you might find duplicated uh, posts inside of your posts and pages areas, or also it could happen with the products. And in Wiglot, since, as I said, it's stored on their database, the translation, there is not that much mess inside of your backend. So that's one of the main reasons to choose Wiglot instead of WPML. Also, if you don't have time for the translation and if you want also here another important factor, an accurate translation, then Wiglot, it's probably a must, a must go. You can actually choose Wiglot if you don't have that time in comparison with WPML, even though they have recently added some new feature to translate everything. It's the new feature just at the moment. It still requires a little bit of more time. And in Wiglot, as long as you're creating content, it will just take a matter of seconds or even just a few minutes so that the servers or the API key, it's connected with Wiglot and make the translation itself. Of course, you can do the corrections if needed in the Wiglot dashboard or in the front end of the website but it doesn't require the same amount of time as in WPML. So that's another main advantage of Wiglot that it's like having a translator, an artificial intelligence translator on your team. So that's why that could be the reason that the higher price that you're paying is it's, it's for that, for the amount of time that you're saving on the translation. And another recommendation that I will do if you are planning to choose Wiglot is that if you're aiming for less than three languages, if you have like a, already a medium-sized WooCommerce website or even a for Shopify, then it will be better to choose three languages. Why? Because if we go to the word counts that Wiglot has, and it happened to me that I choose the pro plan that I have the five languages and I decided to use, use it for my own blog, and I reached pretty fast the word count limit that if you desire to have more content and if you're producing more text in, in your website, then you will have to jump to another plan and by the end pay a higher price. So if that's not the case for you and if you don't want to uh, pay a higher price if you are creating too much content and to avoid that, point of reaching the word count limit, then I would recommend if you only want like English and some probably some Spanish or German or French or any other language, Portuguese, Italian, so on, then I would recommend to aim for three. So this way you won't have the need to uh, change to a higher, pri uh, higher priced plan and you're not forced to. And when to choose WPML, if you, and as I said, if you're increasing in content posts and pages, so if you have more texts, that's a good thing about WPML, you can still have your original language and decide to translate it in probably one month, two months until you buy up some more credits. The disadvantage is probably with the automatic translation of WPML, you have to do or pay extra to have some automatic translation. But you can decide how much to spend and you can have a better control on the automatic translation. So if you're constantly increasing the number of text, the text amount in your website, then probably WPML could be a better option. Also, if you have time for translation, because sometimes WPML will require to check out the translations, or even if you make a change in the website or in a web page or post, you might require to check out again the, the translations and send again the update. So that might take a little bit of time. 
Another reason to choose WPML, especially in comparison with Wiglot, is that if you're aiming for more than three languages, as they you can choose uh, uh, from the 64 languages, then WPML is the option because they don't have that limit in the word count, neither in the amount of languages that you can choose. And also, since the recent year's update, new feature that WPML has, is that you can actually mix the manual translation and now with the Deeple translation. I have already other video where I talk about Deeple, how good and even better translation is than the Microsoft and Google translation. So it's, it's still, uh, from what I know about Wiglot, Wiglot mixes uh, also a Deeple translation with some other translation also, I think from Amazon. And that makes Wiglot's translation even a little bit more accurate. But in the case of WPML, you're just uh, using one machine engine, translation engine, and you can choose Deeple, which is even better, but it still has some grammatical issues or even some word translation issues. So it's not 100% reliable and accurate, but it's even better than the previous one. So if you're open to use a manual and automatic translation, then WPML, it's a good option. And if you have a smaller website, you can consider Translate Press, Polylang, both are for free. There are some other options like Local Translate or G Translate. They, you can actually install in your WordPress website for free. So if you only have one page website or even with five page, you might consider, okay, it's better not to pay the $99 per year or the plan that you choose among WPML or Wiglot. But in Translate Press or Polylang, they are more like a freemium plugins. So if you want some more features about SEO or some out about media translation, then these plugins give the option also to have a paid plans. So these are other options to choose from. But I don't think that it's worth that much using Wiglot or WPML for very small websites with very few content. And if it's not a website aimed to have a lot of have a lot of contents or products, then you can easily use Translate Press or Polylang. Although they can be used also for more complex websites, but I do think that even WPML or Wiglot are better for each of the different cases. So I hope that this information has helped you. If you have some questions or comments, don't hesitate to write them. Thanks for watching.